Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So I want to give a shout out to Veronica for sending me this email with this link of this new channel. The channel's name is Midnight Mysteriologist. They noticed some things on this body cam footage from, this was the day after, this was on the 14th. So this was Tuesday when they were trying to get the scent of the girls in Shenan. But anyway, this channel noticed a few things that I had never noticed. So. But of course, this is my own video. I used my own Weld County files and edited together my own video. But it was, I wouldn't have noticed if it wasn't, if I didn't see this video, you know, this video that Midnight Mysteriologist made. So they caught, it caught some interesting stuff. So I sent the creator, Midnight Mysteriologist, a message asking if they would mind if I, you know, use their idea, their findings, because this is their findings. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have found this stuff. I mean, it takes a lot of work to go through these videos and try to find these little details and zoom in. It takes a lot of time. So, and they were awesome. They said, yes, you know, they want as many people to see this just like me. We want people to see this because this could be some information that, you know, it's important to the case. I don't know. So let it, you know, let me know, let, the, you know midnight mysteriologist no you know when they you go to their channel and subscribe i'll leave the link in the description of my of this video so yeah go check out their channel it's a newer channel and they said they're working on, on some more videos and even check out their video on this you know like i said I, this is my own video i edited it differently than how they edited theirs and like i said i want to be clear on this they are the ones that found this stuff so I just happened to run across their video. Well, Veronica emailed me a link to their video the other day. So they're the ones that actually found it. So go check it out. Go check out, you know, how they put together their video on it. You should subscribe because their other videos are good too. And they, like I said, they said they were working on some more videos. Okay, let's get into this. So the first thing I'm going to show you here is you'll see a white truck drive by back by those condos. Did you see that? So whose truck does that look like to you? Is this just a coincidence you think, or is just some random truck? Because I thought that there wasn't anybody living in those condos at the time. So there shouldn't be too much traffic in and out of that area. Okay, so the next thing I want you to notice, it looks like there's a person that walks through Chris's backyard and then goes up the road right there by the condos. It looks like he's carrying a shovel. So here we go. Okay, so look right there. See where the inside of that circle is? Look right there when I press play and you'll see the guy walking right there. Okay, so when she bends down all the way, you'll see him walking right there on the street in between the two condos. And it looks like he has a shovel that he's laying like on one of his shoulders as he's carrying it. Now there's this red car that's circling around back there by the condos, I'll show you here. So I'm not sure if this person is getting picked up by the red car, is he getting picked up by the white truck? I'm not sure, but right there, see inside that red circle, that's where the red car is right there. Can you see it driving around? All right, just wanna make sure that uh, when the dogs go out on a trail, they're not following. So. stick around for more than a week um, so. and the last thing I want you to notice 
is watch Chris kind of look out there like he's looking for something. He just has this look. Watch. something all day, all night. His friends pouring out and reaching out. That's about it. I'll tell you one thing for sure. I can't imagine what you're going through right now. No, I just, the, the house, I, I couldn't sleep at all last night. I just didn't feel, I didn't feel, I didn't feel right. And I'm used to my kids and CC's in the high chair and Bo's right there. Like just, I miss them throwing chicken nuggets at me honestly last night. Well, like I said, we brought in extra resources, so we'll do everything that we can to try to find your family for you. Everything we can. You said friends and her family and also reached out to you. Oh, yeah. Every, I mean, people I haven't heard from in years. I mean, they all know. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's, it reaches all ports and parts of the world. And it's, I mean, it's a, it's a great machine most days. Yeah. For this type of stuff. Exactly. And Chris, did she drive her car from the airport? No, I think she dropped her off. Or the white car off, or that one parked right outside the door. Yeah, do you drive that car as well? That one? No, that's Nikki's car. Oh, okay. Um. Does your wife have a car? Yeah, it's in. And do you drive it? Or does she I, last time, I, I was the last one to go over to the pool party. Like, okay, so pretty recently. Yeah, sorry. That's okay. okay. Okay, guys, it's the end of this video. So everybody check out Midnight Mysteriologists because they're the ones that notice this stuff. So I thought it was kind of interesting and I wanted to see what you guys all think about it. Let me know what you guys think. If, it ha if you think it has anything to do with the case or is just random stuff and just some random guy walking across Chris's yard with something laying on his shoulder. Could it be like the media or something? But I mean, why would he be walking back there? And there's no, I mean, why wouldn't he park up front? So I, I'm not sure. It's kind of weird. Just some random guy that walks across his backyard and then goes back there with something. I mean, he's carrying something. It looks like a shovel to me. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. And then that white truck and then there's that red car. Is it just a coincidence that one of the per people we've been talking about has a white truck and the uh, that red car that was there that morning? If it's Betty's or whatever you guys believe, but isn't that weird? All right, I can't wait to read your comments and hear what you guys what you guys are thinking about this. So you guys all have a good night and make sure you comment below and let me know what you guys make of all this. And go check out Miss Midnight Mysteriologist. Okay, bye-bye.